The Dreaming City. An awoken stronghold beyond the reach of any outsider. Such was my wish. Granted by Riven, the last Ahamkara, who bargained only with me until my city was invaded. First by the Taken King, and then the Witch Queen. Riven struck new bargains with them, and with her dying breath, she granted a wish that laid a curse upon the Dreaming City. But Savathun is shrewd and clever. In secret, she inscribed her true wish on the wall that governs the terms of Riven's pact with me. A wish to pursue the witness. Only Riven can open the way. Riven, whose heart was torn out by guardians. My Tekiums assembled to conjure her spirit now. We shall make Savathun's final wish, and hear Riven's final price. Guardian, my Tekiums are preparing a spell to conjure Riven's spirit so that she can grant Savathun's wish. However, the Vex of the Soul Divisive have laid siege to the Keep of Voices in an attempt to halt our efforts. I must call upon you to defend the Dreaming City once again. Petra and Crow will guide your path. Apologies for not rolling out the red carpet. I've been preoccupied. Haven't we all? What's our situation? The Techians evacuated the keep with Riven's heart. The Vex have since fortified their position. Then let's cut them down and take back what's ours. Vex gathered around Riven's remains. The Techians need a fragment of those remains to cast their spell. A spell to conjure Riven's spirit. Are you sure about this, Petra? I'm sure that I trust my queen's judgment. visit Riven's corpse. 
A shame I wasn't around to see the killing blow. We never should have done it. She set a trap, and we... I walked right into it. My desire for vengeance blinded me to her schemes. Yeah. I know the feeling. Guardian. Deliver what my Techians require, and they will open a portal to the Wall of Wishes as they begin to conjure Riven. Your deep sight will reveal Savathun's wish. Once Riven grants it, we can at last pursue the witness. has been invoked by the Guardian. Grant it now, and feast upon the difference between desire and reality. Such a long slumber. Such a rude awakening. Grant the Witch Queen's final wish, you say? I refuse. Leave us. Ah, Queen Mara. What a joyous reunion. For what reason do you refuse to grant the wish? Why would I, O oh, Majesty mine? Lest you forget, I am dead, as are the rest of my kind. The Vanguard made sure of it. I need no reason to refuse your wish, only a reason to grant it. What could you possibly offer to entice my cooperation? It wasn't enough for your champions to slay me, but then you saw to the destruction of all my eggs. Well, not all of them. 
Like the one in Savathun's spire. <laughs> one of many. Hidden within my lair, away from your vengeful eyes. But if you were to secure them on my behalf, then you would also secure your heart's desire. And ensure that the Ahamkara live to terrorize us once again. Very well, Riven. We have struck a bargain. I knew there would be a cost in bargaining with Riven. I did not intend it to be a cost. We kept paying all these years later. But now, the Witch Queen's scrolls have confirmed my greatest fear. The curse on the Dreaming City cannot be undone. I've pored over a thousand possibilities, but the Corsair souls trapped there remain. I won't give up on them. Even with the curse in place, there must be a way to bring my people home. A task for tomorrow, perhaps. All this pain Riven has inflicted and still we're beholden to her. There must be alternatives to restoring her clutch. The resurgence of the Ahamkara now, taken or not, could be disastrous. The Reef and the Last City went to war to stop them before. For now, above all else, we must pursue the witness. I need an operative to finish this bargain with Riven, force her to enact the final wish. So while I ponder countermeasures, you do what you do best. Carve a path. Greetings, O oh guardian mine. I always knew we could work together. I speak to you now with my true voice. Consider it a sign of trust. The need for deceit has passed. My corporeal death freed me from the taken curse. My bargain with their king has expired. These Tekians strain themselves to conjure my essence. They cannot do so forever. Savathun's wish will be the last I grant. Mora has made clear the terms of our agreement. Retrieve my last clutch of uncorrupted eggs and I will uphold my end of the bargain. Obviously, I cannot gather the eggs myself. Instead, I will guide you to them through the holes of my former lair. And beware, Guardian. You may find it a place most unwelcoming. My lair crawls with vermin. Present company excluded, of course. Wait, I recognize this place. How did we get here? This is not our city. Only an echo. We built those walls, you and I. Such elegant spires. A beautiful prison. I caught these chambers from those memories. I turned your home against you. Forgive me these small turns. They keep out the burdens. Couldn't you show us a safe way through? I am dead, Princely. What power lingers here is fixed to its original purpose. But if you wish it... I think the Guardian can manage.
There's nothing here. Deceit! Where have you taken them? I did not know of your clutch, Riven. This is not my doing. When the amusement fades, remember. The terms of our agreement are unyielding. Petra, gather the Tekkings. If these eggs do exist, we must find them. Quickly. At once, my queen. Bad news, Guardian. I bring word from the Tekians. Riven's clutch has dispersed across the ley lines of the Ascendant Realm. They now orbit our reality like comets around a sun. Hopefully not beyond our reach. The Tekians are uncertain how this happened, but they've detected a massive surge of paracausal energy across the entire transit system. The residual energy has allowed us to predict each egg's trajectory across the lines. The Tekians themselves were once scattered across the lines in kind. Guardians were there to guide them home, and we can secure the clutch using the same strategy. Riven has caused so much strife. And yet we prostrate ourselves to placate her once again. And too many Corsairs will die on this quest to give the Ahamkara a second chance. As I said, we once utilized the ley lines to find the lost Techians. We can use them again. Fight your way into the blind well and reroute the lines through Riven's lair. We'll prepare landings for the clutch as best we can. were right. We did it. Riven isn't the last after all. If only for the moment. You may yet shatter that truth. It pleases me to know that one egg survives. To know, even in death. A promising start, O oh guardian mine. Or is it merely bait on the hook? Tell me, Guardian, does helping Riven sit with you as it does me? She is a blade held in our hand, held too tightly, or trusted not to slip, and it will draw blood. Airing your concerns to the Guardian as well. Doubt is a useful tool, Queen Mara. A double-edged, is it not? This wish was crafted by Savathun. Riven cannot be trusted with it. Has the Veil offered any answers? My study has yielded many interesting curiosities. I understand how the witness opened the Traveler, but not yet how to replicate it. I need more time. I wish we had more, if you'll pardon the phrase. Time would allow me to insulate us from Riven's ulterior motives. But we've left the witness undisturbed for too long. We must act. Risk is a thing I've learned should be managed, not provoked. Riven is risk incarnate. To follow the witness, I must reconstruct the bridge it forged through the Guardian's ghost. But the Veil is not a docile subject. Abuse it. And a similar fate suffered by the Dreaming City could repeat on New Muna. So we bide our time while you seek an answer. 
Until then, we have a dragon to charm. who prepare contingencies. In fact, that is what I respect most about Mara. She is wise not to trust me, as I have never trusted her. For ages, Awoken and Ahamkara were both allies and adversaries, each seeking to extract a victory from the other. That is the nature of all bargains. To relinquish as little as possible, while securing all you desire. Our bargain is no different. It is not built on trust, but on the knowledge that upholding it will benefit us both. And that breaking it will result in more suffering than you can imagine. We must wait for another egg to drift across the ley lines and re-enter our reality. Continue securing my lair until then. Those who now trespass within it have nothing to bargain with and are thus of no use to me. You would do well to keep that in mind. 